Hello everyone and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we are back in Milwaukee to take on the Brewers after dropping our first game in 15 tries to them. So, I, I don't even know what happened there. It's baseball, it just happens I guess. Here we are at Miller Park, which is the name that stadium should have always kept. Take a look at the Brewers lineup. Looks to be the one we have typically seen. I don't know why they have Muto at third and Bill Hall at short when as soon as they make any sort of change, the first thing they will also do is flip-flop those two guys. But I guess they didn't ask me. Chris Capuano on the mound today. And at the plate, here in just a moment, is Kester. <coughs> First pitch called a strike. Hit foul down the right field line. 0-2, this one is out of the zone. Ground back to the, well, <laughs> I think we had some miscommunication. Van Hecken thought that Capuano was going to take it and vice versa and ended up nobody took it. That's going to go down as an infield hit. And Marvin is at the plate, batting right-handed, already down 0-2. Called strike three, low in the zone. That'll bring Chief to the plate. One on, one out, and he looks at strike one. Oh, swings at a changeup, well ahead of it. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two outs, it's up to Terry to do something. First pitch down and out. I think that was a ball as well. Kester successfully steals second. I'm not sure if that throw would have been on time or not, but uh, Ronnie Cedeno did not field it cleanly anyway. So, a runner in scoring position, 2 0 the count at the plate. This one just catches the outside to make it 2 1. Inside, 3 1 the count on Terry. Swings three and one, and he's going to line out to Cedeno, and that'll end the inning. So, no runs. Tony Gwynn Jr. will lead things off for the Brewers. See, we've got our normal lineup back in. Stitch will be on the mound. And we are now just a couple weeks away from getting all the September call ups, and we're getting close to having a whole lineup of those guys. So September is going to look quite a bit different, and that's okay. I'm hoping to maybe have the division all the way wrapped up by then. Magic number is currently sitting at 11 games, if I remember right. Gwyn Jr. has a 2-2 two and two count to open the game for the Brewers, and he will look at strike three. Ronnie Cedeno now at the plate. First pitch is called a strike. This is going to go for a base hit into center field. One on, one out. Ryan Braun, who hit a three-run homer yesterday, looks at strike one. Stitch gets the call on that curveball as well. 0-2. Oh Runner takes off, Tom, not in time. I think the throw might have been a little high as well. Well, actually, the throw wasn't bad. Just Sedanio beat it out, something that doesn't typically happen with this combination, but obviously they're only human. Ryan Braun comes up with the hit that rolls all the way to the right field wall, and that will be an RBI double for the Brewers, who take the one to nothing lead here in the first inning. So the Brewers, 
all the way up to 42 wins after yesterday, really. Squirrels just really struggling with them in this series so far. Bill Hall at the plate will take strike one and grounds this one back to the pitcher who goes to first with it. Braun stays put. So two down, Nitro at the plate. Runner on second. First pitch called a strike. Swing and a miss. Called strike three. But the Brewers take the early 1-0 lead after one. We move into the second where Frank will lead things off for the Squirrels. Frank, you might remember, hit a home run, a three-run home run yesterday as well. But the Brewers were able to tack on another run before those home runs. Frank has an 0-2 count in this at-bat, goes up the middle, Hall grabs it, and he has time to go to first. Not hit quite as hard as I thought it was off the bat. That'll bring Tom to the plate. He'll look at strike one. Grounds this one to third, Muto makes the throw. Two down. Zach at the plate now. Watches that one go down and out. There's a base hit into right center. One on, two outs though. Joey at the plate. First pitch is called a strike, high in the zone. Zach takes off, we got hit and run, but it's not going to matter because it's a routine ground ball to short. That will bring us to the bottom of the second inning. Brewer still leading one nothing. Mercado will lead things off for Milwaukee. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch swung on and missed. 0 oh and 2. And doesn't get the call on that curveball. 1 and 2. Comes back with the fastball that's ground to short. Joey throws over. 1 down. Muto at the plate. And that curveball misses outside, maybe low as well. It's a called strike. Swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Popped up, and it will make the seats behind home. Still one and two. This one misses outside, two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Van Hecken at the plate. Looks at strike one. So he's been batting under 200 the entire season as far as I know. But he has managed to rack up 18 homers while not putting that many balls safely in play. He strikes out in this at bat and that will end the second inning. Brewers still lead one to nothing. The Squirrels will start off with the pitcher spot in the third inning. All right, Stitch at the plate. He, you know, he hits like a pitcher. Has a two and zero count in this at bat. This one down and in three and zero. There's a called strike. Stitch taking all the way as he should. And he draws a walk. Leadoff man aboard. That'll bring Kester to the play. Got credited with an infield uh, infield single. Though I think really the play was some pretty bad miscommunication between catcher and pitcher. Kester grounds this one to short. And this will be a double play. 6-4-3 twin killing. Well, that inning started promising. Marvin at the plate, struck out in his first at bat, one of only two strikeouts by Capuano so far. After a trip through the Squirrels lineup. 
Oh, and to the count in this at bat. That pitch misses. Called strike three, and it does feel like Marvin has done a lot of that since he came back from injury. So still a one to nothing Brewers lead. They will start off with the pitcher spot to open the third as well. Capuano also looking to be hitting like a pitcher. Looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Doesn't go chasing that slider, which just misses down and in. Ground ball to third. Chief will throw to first. One down. That completes the Brewers' first trip through the order. Four strikeouts for Stitch so far, which Tony Gwynn Jr. was one of those victims. He will start with a ball in this at bat. And then a called strike. One and one. Stitch winds and delivers a fastball down and out. Comes back with a changeup that misses as well. Three and one the count. Ground ball towards second. It gets through for a base hit. One on, one out. Ronnie Cedeno, who got a single in his first at bat. And did come around to score. Has a one and one count in this at bat. Got a hit and run. It's a soft liner to short, and Gwynn gets back safely. Ryan Braun hit an RBI double his first time up. Has two outs here with the runner on first, and he is quickly down 0 and 2. Hits this changeup into right. Zach can't catch up to that one. Is this going to score another run? No, Zach does a good job getting that one in. It is a double, but not an RBI double. But Bill Hall has two runners in scoring position with two outs. Stitch misses down and out to open the at-bat. Comes back with the curveball where he gets the call. This one is too high. Hall behind on that fastball. And misses at a changeup. Stitch gets out of the inning without giving up a run. So Brewer still only up one to nothing as we move into the fourth where Chief will lead off for the Squirrels. First pitch is called a ball. This one ground towards the middle, but Cedeno is able to make the play. Bit of a wild throw, but good enough. Terry takes a strike to open this at bat. Takes another strike. And he will come through with a base hit into right center. That will roll all the way to the wall in the gap. And he will cruise into second for a one-out double. Frank at the plate now with the chance to get this game tied. Looks at ball one. This one is too high. Here's a called strike, two and one. Hits this one right to Cedeno at second. Oh, and Terry had taken off for some reason and he is easily doubled off. So we will go to the bottom of the fourth with the Brewers still leading one to nothing. And Nitro at the plate who struck out in his first at bat. First pitch in this at bat, a curveball over the outside corner. This one misses inside. Ground ball to first. It is called a fair ball. Terry picks it up and steps on the bag. One down. Mercado at the plate. He will look at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Muto struck out in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Popped up. Tom should have a play and he makes it. 
That'll end the fourth inning. Brewers still clinging to that one-run lead. Tom will lead off things for the Squirrels in the fifth. Tom ground out in his first step bat. Looks at strike one here. That's the base hit into left center. Then it'll roll all the way to the wall. Tom makes the turn for a leadoff double. Well, squirrels again with the runner in position to tie the game up. This time with no outs. That will bring Zach to the plate. First pitch down and in. Hits this one right to Cedeno at second. One out. Joey at the plate. And they're going to intentionally walk Joey. It's too early for us to make a pitching change. So runners on first and second now with only one out. Will stitch bunt. It's looking like it right now. This one is a good bunt. Muto to first. He does get stitched, but it is a successful sacrifice. Two runners in scoring position for Kester, who watches that changeup go into the dirt. This one is called a strike. One and one. This pitch misses. Two and one. Misses again. Three and one. Swings away at that one. Full count, two outs. Runners will stay put, though. As Kester fouls that one away. And that'll be a base hit into left center. One run already in. The go-ahead run also in. So the intentional walk backfires on the Brewers, and the Squirrels take the 2-1 to -one lead. Marvin with the shallow fly ball into right that it's going to drop in for a base hit. Kester makes his way to third on it. That'll bring Chief to the plate. Runners on the corners, two outs. Squirrels newly with the lead. And Chief with a 2-0 count. Fly ball into left. That's going to fall in for a base hit. One run already in. 3-1 Squirrels. Runners on first and second. Terry at the plate. There are still two outs. First pitch called a strike. Swing and a miss. Makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So the Squirrels now with a 3-1 lead as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning where Van Hecken will lead things off. Van Hecken struck out in his first at bat. Hits this one to third. Chief takes care of it. One down. Capuano at the plate. Ground out in his first at bat. As that pitch misses inside. And there's a called strike. This pitch misses as well. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Two and two. This is, was that, okay, I couldn't tell if that was on the fly or a hop. Apparently on the fly, Terry makes the grab for the second out of the inning. That'll bring Tony Gwynn Jr. to the plate, who tries to put down a bunt. Not a great one. Stitch handles that no problem. We'll go into the sixth inning. Squirrels leading 3-1. to one. Frank due up for the Squirrels. Frank is 0-2 today. Watches that pitch hit the plate. And it hits this one into left. Braun will make the grab. Tom got a double in his last stab bat. Kind of sparked the rally. Looks at a strike. Looks at another strike. This is fouled away. Called strike three. Two down, Zach at the plate. He is one for two so far. Looks at strike one. 
This one is too high. Down in the dirt. Two and one. Fly ball into right, but it's pretty well placed. But Mercado is able to go over and make the grab. Just stayed up in the air too long. We'll go to the bottom of the six. Squirrels leading three to one. Ronnie Cedeno to the plate. He is one for two today. Looks at strike one. Grounds this one to first, one away. Ryan Braun has had two doubles so far in this game. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Bill Hall. He is 0 for 2 today. Looks at a strike. This one misses inside. Ground ball and a high hop to third. Chief throws it, but it's not going to be in time. That will go down as an infield hit, as it should. Nitro 0 for 2 today. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Hits a ground ball to short. Joey will go to first with it, and that will end the inning. We move into the seventh inning. Squirrels leading 3-1. to one. Joey will lead things off. Joey 0 for 1, has ground down and been intentionally walked, which uh, did not work out for the Brewers. Hits this one into shallow right, that'll get down for a base hit. Pitcher spot up, we will go ahead and bring in a pinch hitter in Miyake. Stitch without a, an, an official at bat today, he was walked and then had a sacrifice bunt. Runner on first with nobody out. First pitch is out of the zone. Second pitch swung on and missed. Grounds this one to short. Hall goes to second with it and won't even make a throw to first. So now one away. Kester two for three so far. Looks at a... call that a backdoor changeup? There's a, another called strike. Oh, and two. Called strike three. Marvin to the plate. He's one for three. Got a hit in his last at bat. One on, two outs. First pitch, called strike. Hmm. Excuse me, fouled away for oh, and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring us to the seventh inning stretch. The Squirrels leading three to one. The Brewers will lead off with Mercado on the other side. Go get Johnston and to Marvin's spot. All right, Mercado over two. First pitch off the plate. There's a called strike. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. 
Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Muto at the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. And he will look at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Van Hecken at the plate. He is 0 for 2. First pitch called a strike. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, strike three. That will end the seventh inning. Three to one, Squirrels lead, and they will send Chief to the plate to open up the eighth. Chief one for three on the day. Capuano still out there. Z throws a strike to Chief. Back towards the middle, but Sedania will take care of that easily. One down. Terry at the plate. He is one for three with a double. Watches that pitch go low. Misses inside. Two and zero. Oh. Misses again. Three and zero. Oh. Swing and a miss. Swinging three and zero. Oh, I might add. Next pitch is a ball anyway. So a walk for Terry, and that will be the end of the line for Capuano. Carlos Villanueva will come into the game, and as mentioned earlier, Muto and Bill Hall will switch positions. All right, Frank at the plate, one on, one out. He is 0 for 3 today. Watch as that changeup go outside. That'll be a base hit for Frank. Two runners on, Tom at the plate. Watches that fastball go down and out. Swings and misses, one and one. Ooh, excuse me. Tom swings again, two and two the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Zach at the plate. Last chance to bring this run in. Hits the first pitch foul to third. And that fastball misses down by his feet. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. We will go into the bottom of the eighth inning. Pitcher spot due up for the Brewers. Still three to one squirrels. The Brewers, for right now, are sending up Ricky Weeks. Uh, let's see. Zach made that last out, so that will put Quinton into the game, into right. And they are going to stick with Ricky, who will take a curveball for a strike. That curveball in the dirt. Fastball right down the middle. Ricky wasn't ready for it. Swings and misses at a curveball. Strike three. One down. Tony Gwynn at the plate. He is one for three today. Watches that curveball miss. Here's a called strike. Another called strike, one and two. Hermita does not get the call on that curveball, nor on that fastball. Full count, nobody on base, one out. And that's gonna be a walk. Ronnie Cedeno to the plate now. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. Ryan Braun, he's 2 for 3 today. Looks at strike 1. 
looks at strike two. And grounds this one to first. It is called a fair ball. Terry grabs it, steps on the base, and that'll end the eighth inning. We go into the ninth. Squirrels still leading three to one. Joey will lead things off. Derek Turnbow is going to come in to pitch. Ricky Weeks goes into second. And Muto will come out of the game where Sedania will now play short. And I already missed who that was. I was thinking about the defensive changes. That uh, was Joey. Came up with a leadoff single to open up the ninth inning. Miyake with his first, or no, second at bat of the day. Has an 0 and 2 count. Make it 1 and 2. And this one just foul down the first baseline. Watch as that one go out of the zone. Hits this one right to Bill Hall at third. One on, one out. Kester at the plate. Uh, he is two for four, I believe. Swings and misses at the first pitch here. This will be fouled away as well. 0-2. Oh hmm. Pop up to second base. Ricky Weeks makes the play. Two down. Quinton at the plate. His first at bat of the game. Turnbow gets the call on the high strike. Turnbow seems very worried about the runner over there. Quinton with a base hit up the middle. Joey on his way to third. And he will make it there. Puts runners on the corners for Chief. There are two outs. As he looks at strike one. This one misses inside. In the dirt, two and one up the middle and it will get through for a base hit and that will drive in another run squirrels now leading four to one terry at the plate two on two outs first pitch called a strike hits this one too short sedania will throw to first and it is dropped nitro can't handle the throw it's going to go down as an e3 so base is loaded with two outs frank at the plate he hits this into left field. One run already in. Another run on the way. And it is now 6-1 to one Squirrels. And this has gotten a little bit away from the Brewers here in the ninth. They're going to turn to Bobby Say to try to stop the bleeding here. Tom, one for four. Watches that pitch go outside. Hits this one deep into center. And that makes it over the fence. A three-run home run, his sixth of the year. A 403-foot shot. And this game is blown completely open. 9-1 to one here in the ninth. And that actually brings up the pitcher spot, so let's, uh, let's throw Martinez out there. Alright, base is now empty with two outs. First pitch called a strike. And Martinez comes up with a base hit into left center. And uh, he's going to make it a double. Look at that. Joey back up at the plate here. Take strike one. Ground ball to third, and they'll actually tag out Martinez, and that will finally end the inning for the Brewers. They give up six runs, and now this game is... Uh, 
It definitely feels completely out of reach. Uh, let's see, Joey made that last out, so now we got to get a little creative. Bring Zap in here. Yeah, I definitely don't want Martinez at short. So let's put Kester at short, or he should be. Let Martinez catch. Yeah, let's see if Tom can play second. Why not? We have very occasionally had Tom and Martinez in the lineup at the same time, and typically when, in fact, I think every time we've done that in the past, we've had uh, Martinez go catch and put Tom over at first. So we'll see what he can do at second base. He only has to make it for an inning. Bill Hall at the plate. The Brewers are going to need eight runs to stay alive. Hall with a one and one count. And he's hit sharply in the left. That's going to one hop the wall. So it is a good start as Hall makes it a leadoff double. Nitro at the plate now. Swings and misses at the first pitch. This pitch is down and out. Fouled away right by the Brewers on deck circle. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Runner still in scoring position. Mercado at the plate. Looks at a strike. This one is too low. Called strike two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down, Ricky, Re Ricky Weeks at the plate. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses, 0-2. Oh Little soft liner to short. Kester grabs it, and that ends the ball game. It was a close game for a while, but your final score today, Indianapolis Squirrels 9, Milwaukee Brewers 1. Take a look at a few highlights. Alright, Kester, your player of the game for getting that go-ahead run. Or driving in the go-ahead run, anyway. So thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. Otherwise, we've got a rubber game with the Brewers tomorrow. We'll see you then.